Joining us in the studio is Elliot Barnett, Senior Planner and the Home in Tacoma Project Manager. Welcome to the show, Elliot. Thank you so much, Laura. Great to be here. Thank you so much. We appreciate you taking the time out to come in on the show today. So, um, Elliot, can you start out by giving us a little bit of the backstory on why the city is undertaking Home in Tacoma and updating the city's residential zoning? It's my pleasure. Well, one of the things that we hear the most uh, down at City Hall, anytime we go talk with the community, it's housing. Um, you know, people tell us that they are struggling, um, that either they are experiencing homelessness or they may have a house, but they're struggling to keep it and pay for it or find a new one. So housing has been one of the top problems for our city for a good while now, and it's getting worse, unfortunately. Um, and Home in Tacoma is part of the city's bigger strategy. We've got um, a full comp comprehensive plan to try to um, help people connect with housing. That's called the Affordable Housing Action Strategy. So we're doing all kinds of strategies to um, help people get their housing needs met. And Home in Tacoma is part of that. It focuses on our zoning rules, the rules for what gets built where. And council has decided that we need to make some changes so that those zoning rules uh, reflect our community values and help people to get the housing needs that they, or housing built that will then help them meet their needs. Awesome. Thank you for that information. Sounds like an amazing program, you know. Um, so the se next question is a two-part. Um, can you define missing middle? And is there an example of a neighborhood in Tacoma that has the mix that home in Tacoma is encouraging? Absolutely. A missing middle housing refers to housing types, which you can see around you today in many of our older neighborhoods of the city. These are smaller, attached, or sometimes multifamily housing, um, things like um, duplexes, townhouses, um, courtyards, or small apartment buildings. Um, they exist in uh, many of our older neighborhoods, but then in the 1950s, um, cities like Tacoma decided we're gonna kinda clean things up and we're gonna stop allowing those uh, naturally more affordable housing types in most of our neighborhoods. And that's when single family zoning came along. And now, you can no longer build many of those housing types that you'd see in Hilltop, in uh, the North Slope, the Lincoln District, lots of our older neighborhoods around the city. So, and they also help us to um, you know, live in the neighborhoods that we want to live in and be able to walk to things. And that's another way to stay healthy and save money. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and Elliot, can you ex let our viewers know why it's important for people to actively participate in the discussion about housing and specifically zoning. Absolutely, it's really important because um, everybody has a huge stake in both housing and in our neighborhoods. You know, obviously we all need a, a roof over our heads, mm -hmm. um, but we also um, need to be able to make ends meet. We need to be able to have the, the type of housing that works for us, our family, or our household. And that might mean um, a house, but it also might mean something where you can have roommates or live with family. So making all those things um, available is really important and we need to hear from people about what those priorities are. Um, so, um, and then also everybody cares about our neighborhoods mm -hmm. and we want our, to retain what we love about our neighborhoods and get more of those types of qualities. So every one of us is an expert on our own neighborhoods and we need your participation. Absolutely. And so when would people start to see their neighborhood change? Right. So we're just getting started now with an, another big round of public engagement. We're trying to invite the whole city, the whole community to the table and to help us get Home in Tacoma right. Mm -hmm. um, and so you'll be seeing um, mailers inviting you to come to, um, participate through surveys and other things like in-person meetings. Mm -hmm. So right now we're asking everybody to um, sign up for updates, go visit the webpage and learn how you can start to participate starting in early 2023. Um, then, over the course of 2023, we'll be developing new rules, um, taking those through a, a very involved and uh, an open public process, and we anticipate the City Council will adopt those rules towards the end of 2023. Um, then after that, that's when um, people can actually start to see change starting in their neighborhood. Um, and that will happen slowly over time. So, you, you know, it's going to be a slow process, um, doesn't happen tomorrow. That's both good and bad. That means um, you know, you don't, you're not going to see your neighborhood change overnight, 
but it also means that the housing doesn't immediately appear and, and start serving our needs. Um, so starting in 2024 and on into the years, you'll mm -hmm. start to see those changes. Well, and, I, and it sounds like one of the big takeaways for our viewers is the importance of them getting involved and voicing their opinion, giving their feedback, because that's also going to play a part in how this program progresses. It absolutely is. Um, yeah, because uh, this is an issue that we all do care about, that's important to all of us, and there are many different perspectives, and, uh, um, and all that information is really essential. The city and our city council um, really want and need to hear from everyone, um, whatever your take on this is, so please do participate. Awesome. Well, Elliot, we appreciate you so much for coming on the show and letting our viewers know what Home in Tacoma is all about. And we hope you'll come back and see us again soon. If you'll have me. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Elliot.